Hello everybody! Today I'm going to walk you guys through my Destruction Warlock spell rotation. Now I am here in Suramar fighting things my level and I am using no buffs that increase my spell power or anything like that. This is just basic flat me. When concerning a rotation it obviously does really depend on what talent choices you went with. I got these talent choices here. If you would like to hear why I went with these specific choices, go ahead and click there as I have all that information in another video. Now, let's go ahead and get into the rotation. So, obviously the rotation is going to change up a little bit whether you're fighting one thing or six. So let's just do a single target damage rotation. We're going to pull with Immolate, immediately snap into Configate, throw a chaos bolt and back that with channel demon fire and as you see it dropped that guy really really quick now i have something else targeted and this thing has almost twice the hit points of the thing i was just fighting why did we use those abilities in that order let's talk about that immolate is gonna do reasonable damage and then make them burn for an additional about 120k damage this will have the ability to occasionally give you an additional soul shard, so I really recommend always starting with Immolate, at least on a single target, okay? We're then going to follow that up with Configate, and that is one, because it's instant cast, and two, because casting that then reduces the cast time of Chaos Bolt and Incinerate. And not only that, it, of course, gives you another Soul Shard, usually allowing me to cast a really fast Chaos Bolt. At that point, whatever I'm fighting, if it still has around two to 300,000 hit points or more, then we jump into Demon Fire, which, of course, you can only use on things that are affected by your Immolate. But it's cool, because we started with that. So let's ambush this Moonlight Hunter, which is sitting at about a million hit points. We're going to start with an Immolate. As soon as that's done, we do a Configate, a Chaos Bolt. He's going to pounce me, which is a stun attack. We'll just take the stun and then do Channel Demon Fire. Roll back into a Configate. And he's pretty well done. We'll just spam Incinerate until he goes down. And you see there, it never even broke my Soul Leech Shield. One very common mistake that I see people do, and I'm really guilty of it myself occasionally, is I'll look down and see that my Configate has two charges at the ready. Bam, bam. Use them both. Don't do that. Don't fall into that. Because it gives you a faster cast time of your two big abilities, and that buff will last for four seconds. So if you spam it twice really quick, you are losing a four second buff. Don't do that. You're gonna lower your overall DPS. So Configate, use that four second buff. Either throw some Chaos Bolt or some Incinerate, use the buff. Then hit the Configate again and use the buff. We're gonna go and target two things and I'm gonna show you how I take down two things simultaneously. From there, we're gonna move on to a group of three, four or more. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is fight two things simultaneously. We're gonna target the first one with Immolate, Immolate on the second one, Havoc on one, and then we're gonna do a Configate, which lowers the cast time of Chaos Bolt. So we smack both of them with Chaos Bolt. Basically, you're gonna fight two things very similar to how you would fight a single target. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're going to round up several baddies and we're going to do a group AoE. So let's have Blue go ahead and get us some guys, some volunteers. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and pull one more. So go get him, Blue. Hopefully we don't lose any of those. All right, and let's give Blue a little bit of love. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with a Cataclysm. We're going to roll into a Rain of Fire as soon as that's done. And then you're just going to spam Incinerate, which hits all targets. That's it. Four guys went down. I really hope this spell rotation video was able to help you guys out a little bit. Thanks for watching.